All right, today I'm going to show you the very important thing, and that is you already know. A three, so a vector is this way, and another vector, so let's say vector A is three meter, and vector B is also three meter, right? Now, we want to add these two vectors, but I want to give you four more scenario before we get started. This is scenario one, and this is scenario two. And scenario two, I'm going to give you the vector. This is the vector A, which is three meter. And this is the vector B, which is three meter. This is scenario two. Scenario three, again two vector, this is vector A, which is three meter, and this is vector B, which is a three meter. And scenario four, I have vector A, three meter, and I have vector B, three meter. And last, scenario five, I have vector A, three meter, and vector B, three meter. As you see that all five scenarios, magnitude of the vector remains same. However, the directions are different. Now, over here, before I solve them, over here I just want to put them. A uh, very important thing, and that is for scenario one, Scenario 2, Scenario 3, Scenario 4, and Scenario 5. Okay. Scenario 1, the sum of the vector would be 6. Scenario 2, the sum of the vector would be less than 6. Scenario 3, sum of the vector would be less and less than 6. And Scenario 4, the sum of the vector would be less than, less than, and less than 6. And scenario five, the sum would be zero. In fact, scenario one is six. Scenario two is going to be 5.8. Scenario three is going to be 4.2. Scenario four, as you see that, is going to be three. And scenario five is zero. So this is what you're going to get. And that's what I'm going to show you how and why.